In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to defend the trips tight end, a defense that you can use to defend spread formations like trips tight end as well as others. Um, I'm thinking you're going to learn a lot in this video about coverage and why things work the way that they do. So make sure to subscribe if you have not already. My name is Cody. Our channel goal here is to help people get better at this game. It's really all we're trying to do. We're trying to help you. We upload videos every single day that can help you get better on offense and on defense in Madden 21. And so if you have not already hit the subscribe button, I just want to encourage you to do that. Again, it's completely free to subscribe subscribe and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos in Madden 21. Now in this video as I was talking about we're going to be talking specifically about how you can stop the trips tight end offense in Madden 21. I've got a great defense for you. It's actually coming to us out of our nickel 335 wide defensive guide and if you have not gotten the nickel 335 wide defensive guide I want to encourage you to get that and the reason why is because it is the best defense in the game. You can say what you want about other formations like double a gap or two four five odd or one four six or the bottom line is the best defense the defense that checks all of the boxes with its ability to stop the run play match defense play zone defense play man defense and be able to blitz at a high level the nickel 335 wide is the best defense in the entire game and if you want to learn exactly how i personally like to run this defense I'm going to leave a link to my defensive guide on it in the description of this video. You can get the entire defense for just $15. It includes uh, tutorials on how to run match defense, zone drop defense, man defense, run defense, as well as how to blitz and user rush and glitch the crap out of your opponent. So if you want to get that, that's in the description. But in this specific video, what we've done is we've put the cover four show two in our audibles. And that's the defense that we're going to primarily start with as it pertains to nickel 335 wide. And so, or as it pertains to trip set in. And what we want to do is we want to kind of wiggle our guy here just a little bit. That's going to mean he doesn't move whenever we go down into this position. And I've actually really become very fond of crashing my line out just like this and kind of standing right here with my user. I'm finding that this front is actually better than the shifting fronts. Um, the gap shoot is still the same. If they run the ball, I'm just going to come right down through it. Let me show this to you uh, from like a different formation just so you can see kind of what I'm talking about. Um, so again, if the running back is on this side here, you can see I can kind of shift like this. I'm actually going to go ahead and just leave it like this right here. But again, I'm just kind of standing like right in here, just like so. And at the snap of the ball, I can shoot right in. And of course, I, I, I was a little bit too close but you can do that against trips and if you wanted to if you don't want to do that then just shift them to the running back side but the reason why i like to do this um, why I like to leave the linemen as they are um, is because it just helps me a little bit. It just helps me um, a, a little bit more balanced, a little bit less susceptible uh, to like a power run to the left side. So if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Just crash your line, uh, shift them to the right and crash them out. You could do that as well if you wanted to. I'm just saying for me, I actually really have been enjoying, you know, just leaving them like this. Um, I think that it actually is, is super underrated. And again, just kind of standing right in here and using this as a method to shoot. I'm going to show you one more thing uh, or show this to you one more time uh, really quick. We're going to show it to you from the trips tight end flex. This is an inside zone run. And again, you want to kind of be a little bit off the, a little bit off, maybe a little bit to the right here, but you'll see right there, we're able to run right through and we're able to blow it up. That's kind of what's going to happen uh, against trips tight end. If you leave it like that, as you can see, if I don't wiggle my guy, he kind of moves this direction. We don't want that. We want him to be just like this right here. Now, as far as the coverage for trips tight end, how do you go about stopping a formation like this? What do you do? What are the adjustments? Here's what I will tell you. If you are facing trips tight end, you want a quarter zone for every vertical threat on the field. So for example, if there's a vertical threat to the left or to the right, this is how you want to fun or kind of build this in. And so what it, what it really looks like um, is it looks something like this. So if the defense or if the formation is like this, this means that there's only three vertical threats to the left and one vertical threat to the right. So as a defense, we want to kind of go off of that. We want to kind of use that as a, as a way to kind of build this. And so um, the way that I like to do that um, is I like to take the defensive end on the same side as the running back. So that's going to be 52 right here. I'm almost always going to put him in a three rec hook zone. This is going to help me against tight end delay fades. It's going to help me against running back option routes and all of those types of things. But I've actually been in the uh, recent, uh, recent, um, 
months, I've been doing just a little bit of a different adjustment um, than what I've been normally doing. And that is this, I like to keep this outside quarter to the right side, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the safety, uh, which is Jackson right here, and I'm actually going to take him and I'm going to recommend, you can do a couple different things with this guy, but I'm act, act, actually going to recommend to you uh, in this video to just simply take him and put him in main coverage on the circle receiver. Just take him and put him in main coverage on the circle receiver. In Mutt, this is going to be a huge shift because he's actually going to be able to hang with him. In Regs, he's not going to be able to hang with him as well as we'd like, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, but what we're going to do then, and that's and what that's going to allow, is it's going to allow us to take the square, uh, the square um, linebacker here, and we can pretty much do all kinds of different things with him that we want to do. Uh, we might want to man him up onto the tight end. Okay, we might want to put him in a vertical hook. He's kind of your hybrid guy. You can do whatever you want with this guy and have a lot of success. I'm telling you right now what I normally will do with him. <coughs> excuse me, is I will uh, <coughs> just put him in a vertical hook or I will put him in a seam flat and then I'll take the slot corner right here and I'll man the slot corner up on the triangle receiver. Something like this right here, you know, just to kind of help with the match coverage a little bit. Um, but I really do like to have like a seam flat. Uh, you know, the seam flat is really, really good. It's a really good zone. Um, it's going to do a lot for you. But as this pertains to a play like curl flat, you'll see here that if the tight end runs a corner route, we're going to have a lot of success. As you can see, it's darn near impossible for that tight end to run that corner route, as you can see right there. Now, what if they run a route combination just like this right here? This is a, a, a an oldie but a goodie little curl flat route combination. This is specifically designed uh, for match coverage as a three by one set. And so I just want to show you again, we're bluff blitzing the defensive end on the right. We're going to take the safety. We're going to man him up onto the, the first slot. That gives us an additional defender on the left side to be able to decide what we want to do. What I've actually been really liking as of late is putting both linebackers in seam flats and then putting a vertical hook out there, something just like this right here. Uh, this is a super, super, super simple setup. Uh, and what you'll see is how it works. We're just going to lurk the middle. And as you'll see right here, that cross man puts him in a decent position. He doesn't always stop it, but he's in a little bit better of a position to do so than he was prior because of where the route will cut at on that specific concept. Now, let me show you uh, PA counter go uh, really, qu really, really quickly here. Uh, let me get to uh, PA counter go. So there's PA counter go. We're going to streak. We're going to use like a little table route. And then we're going to use, you know, maybe something like a little drag route or a little, little underneath route, right? Something like this. Okay. Um, now, again, I'm going to shift into this defense. So we're going to man up on the circle. We're going to put the three rec hook zone out there just like so. And then we are going to, I like to, again, put both linebackers in seam flats. And then I'll just have a vertical hook. If I don't want that vertical hook, then I can create, a, I can also create a nice little cover two concept on that left side. If I wanted to do something like that, I could. Uh, there's a lot of options whenever you start to add a plus one defender on that side. So anyways, this is PA counter go. PA counter go is going to have a little bit more success because the crossing route is going to, you see how it did that second cut? Um, that's what's going to make it more successful. Now, if you're playing, I want you to watch. This is cover four show two. We're going to do the same thing. The only thing we're not going to do is we're not going to just tell the safety that he's covering him. Okay, we're not going to tell the safety on the right side that he is responsible for Devontae Adams. So I just want you to watch how this is going to work. We're going to continue to stay with the same basic adjustments, but I want you to watch now the circle receiver. You see that he's in match coverage, but then all of a sudden he completely glitches out and doesn't cover him at all. That's that's the major difference that we're going to we're going to be able to implement. Now, the last thing that I want to share with you about this defense is actually super super important. Um, it's what do you do whenever they motion somebody? Okay, so whenever they motion somebody, um, for example, if they're running something like a PA counter go type of deal, and they wanted to motion the square receiver uh, across the formation, this is the question, what do we do then? What do we do in a situation like that? So if they bring him across in motion, then what we're going to basically do is we are just simply going to recreate a quarter coverage, okay? So how that's gonna look is he's gonna motion and we're just gonna say, okay, you're no longer in man coverage, you're gonna go back into an inside quarter just like so. We have quarter coverage across the board and now what you'll see is that this quarter coverage is still the same primary void is there 
And the way that we solve that primary void is simply with our user defender. Now, a way that we could solve that primary void if you wanted to make an additional adjustment, um, I don't know if you're feeling a justy, but if you wanted to make an additional, uh, additional adjustment, then what you would simply do um, is, let me reset here. Then in that case, all you would do um, is you would take this guy on the left side, you see he's in a vertical hook. Now, if I ran PA counter go, again, we're gonna do you know, kind of this adjustment kind of category right here. And when we move about a scaling in motion, the job of the defense is we're gonna create a cover two defense on the right side, a cover two soft squat style of defense. What you're gonna see is the match is a lot better as a result. They're gonna be put in a lot of better situations. Is he still open? Yeah, he's still kind of open, but we've got a lot better of an opportunity to be able to user him on that side of the field. This is also going to prevent a lot of one play touchdowns and things like that, that a lot of people like to do out of trips tight end. So, this, in my opinion, is you know a couple of the best ways that you can defend the trips tight end offense in Madden 21. If you want to learn my complete defensive guide to how you defend everything that somebody can throw at you uh, in this game, I would encourage you to get the nickel 335 wide defensive guide. It's not just match defense. We cover how to play match defense, how to play man defense, how to play run defense, how to play zone defense, how to play zone drop defense, as well as how to blitz from all of those different types of defenses. So if you want to learn my complete guide to defense in Madden 21, I'm going to leave a link to that 335 wide defensive guide in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys in the next video.